Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. The Tony Award winning show Matilda is wowing audiences of Playhouse Square thanks to our Next guest, welcome dance captain Michael Jablonski. It's so good to have you here. Yeah, it's great to be here. I know Cleveland very excited that Matilda has brought its amazing show to our town. What's it like being in Cleveland so far? Oh, I love Cleveland. This is like my third or fourth time here on tour. It's, it's a, it's, I'm originally from Buffalo, New York. Okay. So I feel it has a very home feel for me. And I'm living in town near the stadium area. So you're the really getting a district. feel for our city too. <clears throat> yeah, which is it's, great. it's really great. Great restaurants, great things to do. And you're going to be here. I mean, with the fact that it's, a, again, we're doing all these three week extended performances mm -hmm. in the city. You, you really do get to spend some time here then. Yeah, yeah, we de We definitely, uh, you know, you get to enjoy the city a little bit more mm -hmm. when you're here for three weeks. You know, sometimes we're in a city for one week and it's like, do the show and we're gone, you know, but here when you're here for three weeks, you get to enjoy the city, enjoy the nightlife, the people, get to meet some of the people and this and that that come to the show. Well, we're really excited, I know, for you to be here. This show, this performance, it's based on the novel, correct? Yes, it's based on the, so there was a movie, um, but our show is based on the original Roald Dahl book, uh, okay. on the original text. It, it, it takes most of its themes and everything from that. So does that mean in that sense that it's, the book, I think was a little bit more deep than possibly the movie was? Yeah, there's there's definitely, you know, a lot more in depth, I feel, in a, a theater, in the, the in the theater version than in the movie. Mm -hmm. and, it, and that's because of the book text and what it brings to it and what Dennis Kelly wrote and the intellectual, um, you know, the way that, the, the words that he uses and our, our Matildas are nine, anywhere from nine to 11 years old. Wow. And the amount of text and stuff that they have to do in the show and have to speak and tell the story to the audience is quite incredible. How does the dancing <laughs> help tell the story? Well, um, Peter Darling, who choreographed the show, he drives all his choreography from intention based first. Mm -hmm. So meaning that every single, similar to like Joe, Jerome Robbins, where all your choreography has an idea and a story to tell, where a lot of shows nowadays, sometimes I feel like the there's steps for just steps to do. And we have, for instance, there's a, a song in the beginning of the show called School Song, where the kids are coming up to the gates of the school. And we, the adult kids, come and they climb on the gates, and there's these letters coming through, we're climbing all over. And what he does is he uses that movement and that story of uh, those blocks coming through as visions and memories and that choreography tells the story of the memories of the kids being in the in the school for so long. Dancing is <clears throat> so important I think to any musical because yeah. it does it really is probably one of the key things that helps to portray the story and to get yeah. the feelings out of someone wouldn't you say? Yeah I've always said that um, uh, one of my uh, older professors told me one time a long time ago she, she said that in musical theater why she loves musical theater is that we speak to somebody when we want to tell our emotions. When we can't tell our emotions anymore through speech, we sing mm -hmm. because we have to sing the emotion. And then when the singing is not enough to, you know, to bring out your emotion, you have to use your whole body and that's mm -hmm. why we have dance. I know it's going to be a spectacular <coughs> performance. It's, it's here now through May 22nd at the State Theater and Playhouse Square, so there's plenty of time to come and watch this great uh, performance, but you got to jump on the tickets now, though, I think, because yes. it is going to probably be yeah, sold we're, out. We're, we're, we're pretty sold already for our first, uh, for our first two weeks. Mm -hmm. our, the third week, we have some, some tickets still available. So I want to ask you real quick, too. I know that people think automatically this is for kids to go and see, yeah. but would, I think with the story that this tells about this, this beautiful young girl yeah. who really changes her destiny it's for adults as well yeah I think it's very much for children and for the whole family mm -hmm. and for kids it teaches you know it, it shows uh, it gives them a sense of confidence and a sense of strength for this nine-year-old to stand up to the trunch bowl and, and the headmistress that's that's not being you know kind to the children then it also take for the adults it re makes them remember what it's like to be a dreamer mm -hmm. and to like strive for those dreams that they have so there's probably no age too young maybe to come and see this or no i mean much? i i would I maybe like under five i think might not understand might not what's understand going all that well, you know, but you know. also five and up we'll yeah, dip them in there yeah. and come and enjoy yeah. it i know it's going to be a great show it was so uh, so nice to have yeah, you here it's really, really nice to meet you it. Yeah. glad you're here for a few weeks still in cleveland Thank too you. all right make sure to go check out the uh the show again it is may 17th 
uh, it's going on now through the 22nd, but we do have a reminder for you because we have a special offer for you to see Matilda. Uh, you can use the code FAMILY and score discounted four packs of tickets. This offer specifically is good for shows May 17th through the 20th. PlayhouseSquare.org is the place to go if you want to find out more information about that. All right, still to come here on New Day Cleveland, mint, basil, oregano, which herbs should be growing at your home this summer? We're going to break it down for you right after this.